Pukekohe, it's just south of Auckland in New Zealand. From a retirement village. We're trying to go from Perth to the Gold Coast. That's, that's the plan. Lots of toots from, from all the cars and, and even the, the trucks going past, the road trains, give us a toot. Um, oh, yeah. big. And uh, flashing their lights. So there's a lot of support which does really help. Think, okay, we'll do another. What meet. worries me is that we do we look that old? <laughs> that, that they need to encourage us. Well, <laughs> how old are you, Cindy? I'm 81, and Dell is coming up 82. 82 next month. Yeah. Mm. We didn't start until we were 70 because we were not doing much. And um, yeah, it was a challenge just getting on a, at our age, getting on a, a road bike with Yes, we Lycra. had road bike, road bikes, Lycra, Very the well works. Yeah. Uh, but we managed to do quite a bit and then decided we could do something bigger and it just exploded from there. This is their sixth cycling trip to Australia. Our first one was um, North Cape to Bluff. Dell did it for, for the bowling club, to raise mm. money for the bowling club. The yeah. top of New Zealand to the bottom of New Zealand. Yeah. And then, then I thought, oh, it's finished. I wonder if there's something else we could do, I could do. And I, I, I was not interested in the slightest <laughs> in cycling, but I worried so much about him when he was uh, cycling at Cape Reunion to Bluff that I decided that if he was going to do anything else, I was going to be there as well. So hence, I got my bike sorted and uh, we did everything else together. I was a bit nervous in, in approaching Cindy about coming for a bike ride, so I said, would you like to go for a little bit of a bike ride? Oh, yeah, you could do. Um, across the Nullarbor Plains. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> and so we did that for a start and then we just came, continued, yeah, we did the rest of Australia as well. That's, that's yeah. The biggest one was our one we did the last in one. 2020, wasn't it? It was um, Cairns, down to Townsville, across to Darwin, over to Broome, down the coast to Perth. And we almost, we almost made it got up there. To Perth. We were that close, but um, one of us fell off the bike and broke the shoulder. <laughs> and actually, actually, it was a bad accident. Yeah. It, was, it was an accident, and, and it was also too, it wasn't my fault. Um, well, <laughs> I was busy looking at all the wildflowers that were growing uh, by the wayside and I didn't notice that I'd hit a pothole and the pothole threw my handlebars which, which jackknifed the trailer and I could, couldn't control it and I ended up, uh, you know, on the tar seal um, and um, pretty messy. <laughs> In the middle of the highway with trucks and cars coming so I... <laughs> dragged her off the road oh and with the bike and then oh, the traffic came white, but she cut herself pretty badly and you <laughs> covered pretty well. Yeah, you I've know, still got scars and around in the This trip they've found road houses are booked out and there's no comfortable accommodation. We know we're not youngsters anymore, um, so physically could we manage to do that it was part of the challenge. Um, Mentally too, it's a, it's a challenge. Putting up with out of your comfort zone really badly. Um, sleeping on the, the dirt in a tent where it's freezing cold and... Um, it was minus carrying, four the other day when we woke up. And taking all your food and trying to work out how much food you're going to need and what you can afford to carry and what the weight is and what if you have a, an accident and how you're going to... So there's a lot of what ifs that you've got to work through. And it, it's just not flipping. We probably spent six, seven months just planning, yes, stop yes. by stop by stop by stop. But one thing we didn't plan was this accommodation mm -hmm. thing at the roadhouses. Um, we assumed that uh, roadhouses offered uh, a bed, and so we, we would have beds. And, um, and in many cases, it has not been so. And we've been bush camping ever since <laughs> to get to here, really. Our plan is based on doing 50 kilometres a day 
um, depending entirely on the conditions we're given, windy, wet, hail. We've had hail. Um, we had hail. And how we're feeling physically, and is and the wind is the big factor. Um, we did 118 kilometres the other day because we had wind assistance, mm. and we've done as little as 30 because the wind is just force you off your bikes and you're virtually walking. Mm. Um, so it really depends. On average, we seem to be knocking off around 60, 70 mm. kilometres a day. We chose Perth because we were hoping for a tailwind all the way across the Malibu. We read, we read that it was prevalent at this time of the year. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> About 50, 60, 70 kilometres a day put you in gaps between road houses, so you bush camp, so it goes. We used to do a lot more a day. We, we, well, we went in many cases from roadhouse to roadhouse yes. on, on our travels in the past. But yes. we, we can't do that now. We, well, mainly because we've got a perishing headwind. That's mainly why. In the past, we've had um, tailwinds. What have you noticed, though, um, physically? Getting in and out of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts and it's slow and everything's a pain and standing up straight and bending down and getting in and out of a tent and <laughs> squatting when you go to the toilet. <laughs> we can do it, but we do it uh, perhaps not as easily, not quite as easily. Um, yeah. So we have to take more stops now to recover from the last little bit of the uh, last hill. Um, and, and it's taking a little longer to get to where we're going. And so why Australia? It, it's close. Close to New Zealand. And it offers such enormous uh, op opportunities, really, for long distance cycling. Um, I mean, you could spend your life cycling around New Z uh, Australia and never see half of it. Well, I'll never see yeah. most of it. <laughs> um, but the, the camping at night, the stars are just incredible. Yes. There's no light to distract things. But the roads are so long, 134 kilometer long straight road. The other day. What do your children think of it? They think we're mad. But I think they're, I think they're quietly proud. They're, they're yeah. quietly chuffed. 